Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. First things first, the tree is up officially. I don't know where I pointed with this hand, but the tree is up officially. It's the holiday season. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic time with your friends and your family. Today in Warzone 2, we are focusing on weapon tuning because this is a brand new feature that I have seen a bunch of questions about. To unlock weapon tuning, you have to have a weapon max leveled. And once you do that, you can see that various different attachments on a gun, you can actually go through and adjust. You can tune, depending on what the weapon is, various different stats on it. Uh, for that specific attachment, obviously. So for instance, on barrels, you can tune for a faster ADS or a faster damage range or more recoil steadiness, which will help with sway and whatnot, or a better strafe speed when you're walking and aiming at the same time. And there are ways that you can actually make a setup slightly more advantageous and beneficial to your game style. But also at the same time, it's important to note that tuning is not going to make a great weapon uh, worse if you tune it incorrectly. It's not gonna make a terrible weapon incredible if you tune it correctly. Tuning in this game, as multiple other creators, Ace in specific has done a lot of testing apparently, and he's said multiple times in his videos that tuning is not gonna make a drastic impact. It's gonna make very small differences here and there. And for the most part, it's more gimmicky than anything. And from what I've tested, from what several other creators have also looked at, it is something that can make some small changes here and there. We're talking like differences of 0.5 meters for extra range or, you know, very, very minimal velocity increases. It's not going to be drastic, but you can increase certain things here and there. So there's a few things you want to focus on when tuning. Hey, everyone. Post edit Zach here. Hey, hi. How you doing yet again? I suppose uh, I do reiterate this a couple of times throughout the video with various categories, but I want to make it very clear at the start of the video here that tuning in this game is not going to do a ton on your setups and it's also an area right now that we're still learning a decent amount with because it's not precise it's not exact when you look at the various graphs here as we're going through and talking about which areas you want to focus on tuning the sliders themselves and their correlation to the actual uh chart that we see don't necessarily always visualize what exactly is happening in game true game data has talked about this in some of his previous videos where it doesn't seem to always be a linear pattern so for that reason the exact amount that you're tuning something up or down or left or right could differ depending on what you're trying to focus on with a specific class setup it's going to differ between attachment categories going all the way up to the left might be good for one specific thing but not necessarily everything same deal with going all the way down to the right or all the way in any given direction uh that is something we'll learn more about over time so take this as a general rule of thumb for everything here tuning is very awkward as of right now one of the most impactful if not the most impactful thing you can tune is your optics and when it comes to flinch resistance versus ads that's not really a huge thing if you are using a sniper you might want to go for flinch resistance if you're constantly using it in situations where you're getting shot back at if you're mad aggressive though you might want to tune it for ads speed right like this is more your play style based i think most players will probably go for ads speed here but it's not going to make a huge difference what will make a huge difference is your eye position which you can see at the bottom you can tune this optic to appear further away from your eye or closer to your eye so if we go into the firing range here this is what the schlager 3.4 times looks like at the furthest eye position just keep note of where this is positioned on the screen now if we were to go back out and tune this again for the closest eye position you'll notice that if we go back into the firing range and i were to ads it is a much bigger scope. Now, this in turn is going to affect your visual recoil. The further something is out from you, the less visual recoil it's going to have. So in my opinion, I would always go through and tune every single optic you're using to have the furthest eye position. This is going to be the most convenient for any situation really. Now, it is obviously going to make that optic slightly smaller, but in my opinion, the benefits of having an easier uh, recoil situation here with that visual kick is going to be more beneficial than anything else when it comes to close, medium, or long range fights. Another thing that is basically free stats, but again, it's not gonna do drastic things to your gun is your ammunition upgrades. As we've already talked about with some of the best attachments in Warzone here, high velocity rounds in specific are a cheat code for getting some free stats. Stats. Not much range or not much added velocity, but it's something. It's better than nothing, right? So uh, high velocity in particular are the ones that we're focusing on. Most of the other ammo upgrade options aren't going to be super advantageous. Armor piercing is all right. Overpressured is all right if you're trying to induce more flinch. And you can tune every single one of these ammo upgrades in the same way as high velocity. But in particular, high velocity is the way to go. And for this, tuning this for the max damage range and the max velocity every time is going to net you that slightly longer damage range 
change i think when it comes down to the stats depending on the gun it's going to change because certain weapons have uh you know more severe damage drop-offs but it can be anywhere between half a meter and like two meters for a damage range it's not much but again it's something for free and you might as well increase that velocity as well while you're at it high velocity rounds are already doing that and velocity in war zone is an extremely important stat because it's going to help out with bullet lead bullet drop and the ability to have like a consistent hit reg over long range right so that is another attachment that is super important to tune by the way as we are breaking this down if you guys are new to the channel every single day i have you covered with news updates class setups tips to help you guys improve at the game so if you want to guarantee you're always up to date with everything going on in war zone mw2 and dmz this is your one-stop shop Feel free to hit that subscribe button. Join us on the road to 900,000 subs. We are so, so close to hitting that milestone. And it would be insane if we could hit that before the end of the month because around 60% of viewers watching are not already subscribed. So if that's you, we'd love to have you join the family. Also, if you guys enjoyed this video or if you find it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on it as well. It would be seriously appreciated. Let's try and aim for 3,000 likes on this one. So admittedly, I feel like ammunition and the optics are the main two things you want to focus on when tuning. Outside of that, tuning I don't feel like is going to have drastic impacts on your overall class setup and on the overall feel of your weapon now in most cases you're going to have weapons that probably have a damage range and velocity and control increasing barrel like for instance we have that here on the rpk where i basically just try and take advantage even more with those uh various stats so we, we tune it for the max range and the max recoil steadiness here uh in most cases when you're using long range weapons that's what you want to focus on for any barrel attachment here uh it's a different situation for close range but in most cases there's not many barrels that actually help you out close range. Like for instance, we've got the Fennec here, which is a close range weapon, but the barrel we're using is meant for better control, better velocity and whatnot. And we're tuning this in a slightly different way, but it's still not going to be a barrel that is solely focused on max mobility because that's just not what is going to be the most beneficial for gameplay here in Warzone 2. So instead of going for max range, I want to play to its strengths in this case. So I'd go for max ADS speed and slightly better strafe speed on there. So depending on where you're using a gun is how you'd want to adjust your tuning specifically for, you know, things like your barrel. If you're going long range, go for max control, go for max range. If you're going for close range, you might want to go for some more mobility based benefits. Now, muzzles in most cases also can be tuned to be slightly better. But again, with how tuning works in this game, and I want to make sure this is super clear throughout the video, tuning is not going to drastically change your gun outside of your uh, optic viewpoint. That's like the only thing that is super noticeable in game. But in this case, uh, recoil smoothness is not a huge factor. And this is something you'll be able to tune on a lot of muzzles. Smoothness is very, very minimally, according to true game data, helping out with your recoil pattern, but it's not drastically noticeable in game. Uh, so you don't really need to worry about that too much. You certainly can if you feel like it's something that you need to worry about, but I don't think for the grand scheme of things, it's gonna help most players. So you might as well tune some of your muzzles to help out with ADS speed. And then again, you can go for max velocity if that's something that you're trying to take advantage of with your particular long range setup. For a close range though, you might wanna go for maybe better stability and go max on the ADS speed totally comes down to preference there. I've also seen a lot of comments, a lot of talk about, hey, you should only tune to three quarters in one direction instead of max. The difference between three quarters and max is not noticeable in game whatsoever. And just like how we have these bars in the bottom right that say, oh, your damage is increasing by, you know, that much on the bar with this graph here, this is giving you a general idea of the area that you're focusing on but this hardly is a way to gauge exactly where the sweet spot is for tuning it's just not going to be that accurate you can also tune your under barrels quite a bit as well various under barrels are going to do different things when it comes to stabilization hip fire accuracy whatever the case may be so for instance on some of the recoil steadiness increasing under barrels which in my opinion are the best it focuses a lot on hip fire for some reason which is not a a factor in a lot of these fights like i'm using a long range rpk here i'd never tune for hip fire so we'd go for a better hip walking speed or just a basic walking speed essentially and a faster ads because you're not gaining any bonuses out of any of the hip fire benefits there's no point in really focusing on those whatsoever so you don't ever want to tune towards any categories that are not going to uh directly be correlated to where you're using that gun or how you're using that gun it's pretty basic but it's just a general rule of thumb you'll notice other under barrels like the shark fin that have no cons it just helps out with stability you can tune for even more stability or perhaps a better strafe speed and then also go for max stabilization so your sway is super nice or max ads if you care about that so you can definitely uh play around with other things like this where there's not necessarily a best way to tune it it's more so what you're looking to get but it's again not going to drastically increase your stabilization or create an instantaneous ADS speed. It's just going to slightly focus a little bit more on that 
and in the grand scheme of things you're probably not getting the most out of tuning something like this for max ads speed unless you have two or three other attachments also focused on better ads speed and then lastly here we have rear grips and basically you're going to see these on every single weapon there should be standard in most cases one grip that helps out with control and one grip that helps out with speed like sprint to fire and ads in the case of sprint to fire and ads Either if you're using a close range gun, you'd want to focus all the way on ADS speed and sprint to fire to maximize that stat, or you can get away with like a mid range gun that has a slightly better sprint to fire and ADS, and you can focus more on stability and maybe helping out that recoil steadiness instead so that some of those mid range fights are a bit more consistent. That's a way to make this attachment much more versatile, but again, it's only going to be uh, convenient if you're not trying to just use it exclusively close range. On the contrary, on the recoil adjusting, uh, you know, rear grips here, again, if you're trying to get good control and a good mobility stat for a super close range weapon, in this case, probably SMGs exclusively, go all the way for sprint to fire, all the way for ADS. But if this is a recoil based attachment to help out with medium to long range, you're not going to gain much out of a better ADS and better sprint to fire. You might as well tune for those long range uh, pros that'll be more beneficial for that style of play. So the long story short here with tuning is that one, it's not going to make drastic changes to any stats outside of maybe a couple of meters if that max or a couple of milliseconds here and there uh what it will do is allow you to slightly play more into the best play style so you want to always be tuning into where you're going to be using the gun the types of engagements you're going to be using the gun with the most to make it the most aggressive the most advantageous and the most beneficial for those particular gunfights whether that is long range with no recoil whether that's close range with max mobility basically just have to weigh into where you're going to be using these guns and tune off of that but hopefully this gave you some solid uh you know starting points as to where you should be tuning things here and there that is going to wrap things up for this one though if you guys are new to the channel and you want to guarantee you're always up to date with more tips like this to improve the game the best class setups the latest news and updates this is the place to be it's your one-stop shop for all that so feel free to hit that subscribe button join us on the road to 900,000 subs and if you guys enjoyed this video or if you found it helpful let me know by dropping a like on it as well but once again thank you so much for tuning in and until next time take it easy have an awesome rest of your day and i'll catch you guys later peace out